Welcome to this video of uh, 8 ways so you can avoid art block. Now a lot of times I pass through a stage where I don't know what to draw or I don't have anything in mind, my mind is just clustered and cluttered, it's just unbelievably insane for any artist to go through. Now what I've came with are 8 uh, steps for you to uh, gain control on that art block of yours. So, let's begin. The first step of uh, getting over your art block and finding more inspiration is uh, a very simple method of combining old concepts with new concepts. For example, I had an idea the other day, uh, what if uh, Apollo, which is a uh, god in Greek mythology, uh, descended down to earth in the 21st century, for example, and he found like um, an electric guitar um, that could be interesting to paint. The main idea of actually combining old concepts with new ones is to add this humorous and comedic feel. Uh, for example, the Apollo painting uh, can be really interesting because you rarely see some classical paintings with a modern day twist. For example, it could be really interesting to try out. You, you can have many other ideas, you know, as long as it depends on choosing something uh, original and uh, no one has ever thought of doing before. But keep in mind that you have to uh, combine it with some uh, modern day item or modern day concept or modern day choice of livings, for example. So I have another idea uh, of maybe uh, doing the Greek the gods in modern day outfits or uh, modern day jobs. For example, Hermes can be like a pilot. <laughs> that, that could be interesting. Or Aphrodite can be a, in a beauty salon or a beauty parlor. These small illustrations really can uh, widen your horizons on many other uh, painting concepts. Like, uh, you can really be uh, experimental. Now, another step uh, I found uh, in Imagine Effects magazine I was reading the other day on how to turn your, uh, your art into dark art. Uh, they have this small concept which I found really interesting so you can overcome this art block of yours. Uh, you can combine two factors of good versus evil. For example, uh, like imagine this, uh, a small angelic child with this white aura just around him walking in uh, in a creepy atmospheric swamp, for example. This small innocent factor in, uh, in any painting can really trigger your uh, curiosity, the viewer's curiosity, because um, they, they will start wondering what this innocent little creature, for example, is doing in a swamp uh, as dark as this. It can, it can really be interesting visually and in concept. Or, for example, another, uh, another concept, uh, a child, a small child, uh, fighting a monstrous gigantic spider. This could be interesting because uh, we all know that uh, children and mostly adults like me, for example, are terrified of spiders. Now, when you trigger to the viewer that horror feel that the small child is attacking a gigantic spider, uh, it can really add this, um, you know, interesting feel to this painting. Now, as, as long as you have this innocent factor, this small tiny innocent factor in any painting, you'll just uh, really turn it from dull, from being boring, from being uh, casual, just like anyone else, into something really interesting. Step three is very fun to try out. Uh, you can start with fan art with your own twisted story. For example, uh, imagine this, uh, Princess Ariel from Disney uh, was just swimming in the ocean and she just found something floating up her way. She just opens it and finds that it's like a pizza box. Uh, how can you illustrate a thing like Ariel uh, trying out soggy pizza for once? Uh, or another idea like uh, Snow White <laughs> enjoying uh, cooked deer with a side of apples. This could be like horrifying, but at the same time, it's really funny and a uh, uh, paradox. I mean, Snow White just sitting in front of this huge uh, feast, like in a Viking scene, with a main dish as a deer. 
other way uh, is a phone app. It's, it's a really interesting phone app. Uh, it's called Destiny's Handbook. Uh, it's a simple application that randomly creates for you a character in a setting uh, with a goal with a sidekick. It can get very crazy, but at the same time, it really can widen your horizons on something new. Like, uh, for example, I got the other day um, a zombie warrior with his personal assistant is a hippo. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that might sound a little bit crazy to you at first, but once you start applying it, you can really change it. You don't have to stick to it. Just keep the entire concept. For example, that zombie that I had in, in Destiny's Handbook, uh, his mission was to occupy France, for example. <laughs> that, that could be uh, something new or original. On to step five is uh, the, uh, the daily spitpink group in Facebook. Uh, it's actually very, very inspiring to myself because every single day they post from uh, three to five subjects of uh, spit paints you have to do. If anyone doesn't know what a spit paint is, it's a uh, digital or traditional painting that uh, you need to do in 30 minutes uh, exactly. Uh, the interesting thing about paint is that uh, the subjects can really be interesting and you never thought of it before. Uh, and whenever you have time, uh, you can uh, you can spit paint. It's really interesting. Uh, for example, the other night I wanted to spit paint and um, I had this very cool subject posted. It's called Child of the Lake. Uh, I painted a small little girl uh, inside a boat, inside a paper boat, on a lake, going uh, towards a very bright horizon. The colors were vibrant and childish. When I finished it, I just looked at it from afar and thought, hey, I could really uh, make it into a painting if I could just add more hours to it. Now, the thing with spit paint is that it gives you this subject to try out and you draw it with your own style, with your own concept, with your own idea on how this character should be placed in. And, and trust me, when you go to the painting group on Facebook, it's really, really fun. I mean, uh, you see one subject and there are maybe millions of artists all drawing the same subject but in a different style, in a different uh, concept, in a different uh, method or way. It's, it's really, really fun to look at. It can, uh, you can explore more options with it. Now the 30 day RPG challenge on Facebook gives you a really interesting uh, subject to try on. Uh, every day for 30 days uh, they give you uh, an idea of a character. It can either be a hero, it can either be a villain, a villager, witch doctor. The group gives you the uh, specifications and descriptions of the character and you have to draw it out. It can really be inspiring because uh, for example if they give you an idea of a witch doctor uh, you have to think of the setting he's in, uh, the village he lives in, what kind of witch doctor he is. Is he into voodoo? Is he into herbs? Is he into uh, general medicine? Uh, is he a human, a monster, an orc, or whatever you want to. Another good idea to try out if you have art block is uh, usually inspired from everyday challenges. Uh, for example, uh, you all know about the, uh, this is just a random example I'm giving out to you so you can understand the idea more clearly. Uh, lately, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge have been roaming around the internet like crazy. How could you use that to inspire you in a painting? The other day, I did this illustration of myself doing the Ice Bucket Challenge with an animal beside me. It could be a sidekick, it could be a friend, uh, pouring the ice bucket over my head. This is really interesting to track because uh, you didn't do just like everyone else. Instead, it inspired you to paint something. Another example is uh, two days ago, I was uh, suddenly blocked out of my Facebook account. I have no idea why. Uh, it made me so mad because I had to contact help desk and you know it just uh, is, is a really really long and tiresome process. Uh, I got really mad and at the end uh, I finally was able to uh, open my Facebook account. I was super mad that I had this idea in my head I wanted to try out. I <laughs> imagined myself 
sitting in a corner, for example, crying or sobbing, and the Facebook icon uh, behind me just patting me on the back or just uh, apologizing. You know, you can be really, really creative with almost anything that ever happens to you. Finally, stock photos. Uh, you might think that stock photos are kind of just used for references or drawings, but in fact, if you really go into uh, professional stock uh, accounts, you can really find uh, not just poses or references, you can find concepts. They have ideas, they have perspective. The way they photograph this person, it could really inspire you on something else. For example, you want to draw a uh, uh, an angelic woman, for example, or a demon woman, you search for a uh, demon woman stock. The, uh, you don't have to, now I'm not saying to use the stock and then copy every single uh, detail and just, you know, trace it and draw over it. No, the main concept of this photograph stock image could really give you a better idea on what to draw. You want to draw a demon woman, a demon warrior, look up, for example, a woman crouching on ground or a woman kneeling or uh, standing proud. When you search for these images, ideas will just role and you'll be really amazed by how much concepts you have. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope it, it could be of use to you. You know, just remember that art block does not last forever. You have art block usually because for example, you're stressed, you have lots of things on your mind, but trust me if you really love drawing and you're really passionate about what you do, you can almost change any negative thing that happens to you in life into an artwork. That's what's amazing about being an artist. It can really give you this chance to have a little breather from the stress of life. You know, you know, I get you. But, so if you follow these steps and you find out that you're just stuck in a corner, just try to meditate, try to go out. You'll feel more relaxed and able to, uh, to make many more artworks that can be original. Now, the most important thing to remember is that you need to be uh, as original as possible in your paintings. Now, technical skill is not that important. It's, it is important, yeah, but it's not everything in a painting. You have to have a subject, you have to have a concept. Uh, it, it could either be comedic, it could either be uh, gloomy, dark, uh, happy, whatever you want. Just whatever you feel like doing, just do it. This kind of way can really give you this chance to practice. It can give you this chance to practice into being a better artist, into being the artist you always wanted to be. Now, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Every link of an account I gave out in this video, I put the link out in the description, so uh, make sure to check it out and let me know if those all work for you.